Like I would cry all the time. I would be like really depressed and stuff like that. And it's in the bedroom. Like I'm living with my parents and they don't know what's going on. So this girl has all these issues and on the outside she seems like she's fine. Yeah, you open up a bubble a little bit before you flip them. Like that, see? How a bubble a little bit, and then we turn it, they're brown. Alright, see, see? You do that. Let her do it! She can't do the ones that are far away. Okay. So we've got the pond cake, come on. Teaching the little pond cake girl. Are you going to be the pond cake yeah. girl? Yeah, you know who's going to be the chef of cook of pancake? Me. No. Yep, new, new <gasps> pancake girl in town. Oh, brother, may I? Okay, so you got to be careful with this one because there's, it's got stuff on the top, you see? So you got to do it like that. Whoop, see? You got to be careful. You got to do it like this. Ready? One, two, oh my goodness. three. Oh, Whoop. close. Yeah. Get that one right there and go. Oh. I feel like she's doing, you're doing it all. Nope, you teach her the motions first and then she can do it. Up. Oh. 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 Yeah. That will do the cook. Oh, I don't think Cake Girl's coming to town anytime soon. Yeah, oh, yeah, she is. Oh, we gotta get these one back here. No cooking. Oh. <laughs> that was all you. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. You're in my light. Well, that's what happens when the stove is in front of the, with the window. <laughs> Here, my worry, watch this. Here she goes. I'm gonna have to help her this now anymore. No. I just hold the plate now. Don't tell me that because you're gonna start cooking every day. Hurry, the burning. <laughs> Good job. Oh, look at my little baby. Look. Remember how daddy told you? Yawn, yawn. Yawn, yawn, girl. Fast. Boom. Yep. Now last one right there. Good job. Go. What? Perfect. Give the amigos a high five. So you're gonna go paint today? My throat and my nasal issues today. I, maybe tomorrow will be different. Are you serious right now? I'm sweating. I'm having half flashes already. I don't see half flashes. Feel my head. It's perspirating. I don't feel anything. You're not gonna feel it from over there. Though. Oh, I feel it. No, the no. amigo see. I'm feeling it. No, that's that's foolery. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, because I want the stuff paint. See, he was supposed to do it next last. Week. He's no, just a very lazy person. No, I'm not. He just wants to sit on the couch and watch YouTube all day. So I'm he could have done it. YouTube, Netflix. You, he could have done it. You up for crap I don't want to do. Uh, I asked you. And I told you no. Yes, you did. No, you didn't say no. I told you no. I said no, I paint the vestibule. I didn't say I was painting furniture. Yeah, he said he was gonna do it. Okay. My dad would have done it even when he was, if he was dying on his deathbed, he'd still do things. That's him. He wants to like that, I don't. See, I wanted someone like my dad, and I kind of thought he was, but he wasn't. So I kind of signed up to something I didn't really think I knew about what I was signing up to. Be careful, don't. <laughs> oh, fake oh, sneeze. Hurt, like, Insert fake sneeze. We were watching okay. 13 we Reasons look, Why um, on Netflix, I and you guys, I've been crying every episode. Like, it's insane. But, uh, I'm worried about you. You need to watch it. Taking a break from 13 reasons why. Because it's time to cook. Oh. And now Buddha is giving Manito haircut. Hey, leave my children alone. Oh, my I child. Cut you off. Ha. What the hell are you doing? I cut ya. Really, I'm not bleeding. What the? <laughs> Am I all better now? Yep. <laughs> Look at us, the chump. Uh -oh. Let me cut your hair. That's like my neck. Oh. Ah! Oh my 
cut me! Why would you do that? Bitch, he freaking cut me! Babe! Deanna, okay now. Where are you? That's funny? That you cut me? It's funny that I'm bleeding out of my head? I'm gonna bleed out. Um, come here, I'm gonna cut you. Come here now. Come here. Get the scissors from her now. Look what she did to me. Look. Put ketchup on your hand? You know that extra bedroom? No, she cut me. With ketchup? And she made me bleed. With ketchup? Why can't you be a character here, boy toy? Don't use ketchup as fake blood. This is our lighting, okay. And dinner is served on a delicious plate for you, served from Target. I mean, Party City. There's a Party City it's plate. It's a Party City plate. Huh? It's a Party City plate. It's a Party City plate, because we had a party for that young fellow over there on his first birthday. And Buddha is already done with her food. Would you like to eat, sir? Would you like to eat? Why are you so loud? I'm trying to be Irish, babe. Irish people don't scream. Oh, don't they do? Oh, no, they do? Oh, no, they don't. They right, got Daddy a headache. sound. Daddy has a headache. She never had an accent. She just... She just cuts me? <laughs> what are we talking about now? <laughs> Can you do an accent? Talk like an Irish lady, Nana. Hey, you're like a I look at you. Say hi. Why are you scared? Good. Like gonna be a construction worker, babe. You can't go back in there. You're already out. That's not how it works. <laughs> Good her. We're still not done watching 13 Reasons Why, but the reason like I'm always emotional and like I resonate, so resonate or resignate? Resonate. Resonates. Resonates. The reason why it resonates with me so much is because like we've all been through it where we go through high school and we're in our room like, the, okay? We're in our bedrooms, we're in the household with our parents and our parents <coughs> never knew what we did in that bedroom. Like, I would cry all the time. I would be, like, really depressed and stuff like that. And it's in the bedroom. Like, I'm living with my parents, and they don't know what's going on. So this girl has all these issues, and on the outside, she seems like she's fine. Right? Everyone's like, uh, oh, she's yeah. she's charismatic still. She's still, like, brushing it off. She seems like she doesn't care. But inside, she's, like, literally dying. And you know, you know what makes me sad, too? Like, I realized this. I just remembered that there's this boy, and he had, like, special needs, and he was obsessed with Garfield, and... All these kids make fun of him every day, yo. Garfield's dead. I'm gonna kill Garfield this and that. Like, he had issues. And I'm just like, I didn't do anything. Like, nobody did anything. Like, we just all laughed or shrugged it off or walked away. Like, it's so sad. It's peer pressure. You don't know how you're gonna be portrayed with your peers. You don't wanna be ousted because you're being a, you know, being, doing the right thing. So, that is social sex. Well, I don't really know if it was the social pressure i don't know what it was and i was never bullied but i saw it like happening and it just sucks yeah it's i feel like, so bad it's important for you to talk about it when you're bullied that's the one thing like growing up i got picked on 
rigorously, like terribly, because my teeth, Bucky Bobby, horse teeth, like, I just picked up crazy. I just come home crying. But the one thing I never did is I never held it in. I always told my mom mm -hmm. that I was, I was sad. Oh, well, that's good. And so I never harbored it. That's why, like, we're talking about it. Like, she, like you connect with this, but you don't. Why aren't you crying? Because mm -hmm. I never harbored it. I always hit it. Cause my dad, my parents weren't the ones to understand. Yeah. Like I get over it. Like I was depressed. My my dad's like, oh, she wants attention. Yeah. Or that's, that's the that's the culture of it, though. You know what I mean? Like I lost my father, my grandfather to death years just the years before. So there's a lot of things that I've I've already shown that I have emotions. It's, we're all emotional. Mm -hmm. And we always talked about about the bullying. Like, oh, why can't the kids just get over it? Just be strong. This and that. Like we don't like bullying. We never we every time we hear it on the news, we get really upset. But we're like at the same time, it's like back then everyone was bullied and we dealt with it. But it's like a different kind of bullying now. Like now it's clicking. Like it's a different kind of bullying, and it's it so tragic. It's so freaking sad. Like she was a target for everything and anything. Absolutely. You guys need to watch the Netflix series and. There's a different magnitude of just bullying today. Like, it really is. It's a different level. Just talking about it. But then if you talk about it, like she expressed, the girl expressed her feelings in a poem, and everyone knew her feelings, and they still didn't care about her feelings. Yeah. It's tough. You don't know. You never really know. If someone harbors it, don't talk about it. You never know. Well, now this is my thing, because he told me a story, knowing that you were bullied about... <coughs> about that why he was a bully how why did you become I wasn't an active bully I had one moment in my life where I was a bully and it was because we were all everyone was just teasing the kid and I was just following the crowd I was known as the kid in the neighborhood that took the L's for everybody Dummy. and I just threw a boulder off a bridge on this kid's bike and he was like slow he was like a little mentally unstable like un unbalanced mm -hmm. but everyone was picking up so I was like I had to do it so mean yo. and that's why I really do fight about dude, about that today like, he always talks about it. He's like, he feels so bad about it. And it's just so sad. Like, we're young and we're stupid. We are. Like, we're really... If the like, if the gonna ever do that, I will kill... I will beat them. Like, I will beat them. I don't know if I beat them. I will but beat I would them. I'm trying to teach them how. Well, we, really we do it now. We teach her now. Like, if you see some, some kids sitting by himself, or he doesn't have food, or she's by herself, or they're picking on her, she's done it before, and she'll be like, stop, like, Fiona, stop, Fiona, you're being mean, you know? And I've taught her to do that, but you just have to continuously do it as they're young. Everything has to be done when they're young. Not when they're 10, 13. It, they're, they're already evolved, basically. Their That's mentality true. is already made up as to how to act in certain situations. So you have to do it at a very young age. <laughs> Malice is already in their, their skin. The malice is already in their skin. So guys, don't be a bully. You see it going on. Say something. Talk, say something. Talk to the kid. Make them feel like they're not alone. And don't turn their backs on them. You don't like, have to be a hero and save the day. But yeah. just all they be want a friend is, and exactly. save, save the person. That's all they want is someone to talk to and someone to be there for them. Listen. Oh, you guys, it's so freaking good. It is so depressing. But the guy with that, I don't miss videos. Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys ever dealt with bullying and what you did? Have you seen it? Have you stood up for somebody? Even now, at this age, it's never too late. It doesn't only happen in high school, guys. It can happen in adulthood and stuff Absolutely. like that. The corporate so, world is very bullish. Yep, in the workplace, everything. Te quiero, te amo, te adoro, mis amigos, and we shall see you mañana. Mm -hmm.